What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is just going to be a vlog. It's going to be a vlog blended with a bit of a what I eat in a day. Just food, what I'm getting up to, what's going on, how I'm training, any updates because there's a few things to update you on. It's just going to be a good vlog, okay? I promise. So it's about 7am. I've just got up and I'm just about to take Toby for a walk. Then I'm going to come back, make my coffee, do my journaling and then I'm going to do a yoga flow so just 15-20 minutes of yoga so I'll catch up with you on the other side of that when I'm ready to sit and make some breakfast. <laughs> ready to tackle the day and I'm just about to make my breakfast but before I do I just wanted to give you a quick update because if you don't follow me on Instagram then you might not know this but I'm actually having a bit of an experiment with going dairy free at the moment this is on some advice and chats with my doctor all around the kind of asthma and allergy symptoms that I've really been struggling with I've literally had the worst hay fever I've ever had and it's kind of triggered some seasonal asthma and stuff and it's just something which she said I could have a play with for two weeks and see if it did make any difference to kind of the gross word but mucus and like build up that I'm getting in my throat. So that is what I'm doing. So if you notice that I'm dairy free with some other things that I'm choosing, then that is why. If you guys have got any recommendations for any products in the UK which are dairy free and super yummy please drop them down below for me and also if any of you have tried this let me know I know we are all totally different and I always have to give that really big disclaimer this is obviously on the advice and support from a doctor so don't do anything silly and make sure you are always kind of working with a trained professional if you are making any adjustments like that. Right, anyway, let's hop in and I'll show you what I'm making for breakfast. I've been making this smoothie recipe every day this week and oh my goodness, I'm so obsessed with it and it's really nice and sunny this morning, although it doesn't look it right now, I promise. It's really nice and sunny. So it's the perfect kind of weather to get back into some smoothies. So let's show you this recipe. These are all of my smoothie ingredients. So this is the protein that I'm using. It's the My Protein Soy Protein Isolate in strawberry cream flavor so obviously dairy free super super yummy i've really been loving this flavor they've got others on there but this one is amazing that i've tried so far frozen bananas if you've got bananas that are about to turn or you like making smoothies chop some up and pop them in the freezer because they honestly make your smoothies so much better and also you don't then need to use ice and stuff so i would definitely recommend doing that that's all that this is in here is some frozen bananas i'm obviously not going to use that whole tray 
Then I'm gonna put in some of this Nutty Bruce almond and oat milk. I usually just use the oat milk blend from Nutty Bruce. I absolutely love it, it's my favorite, but this was the one that I picked up this week, so I'm gonna be using this. Frozen strawberries are in there. This is literally just a bag that I picked up from Tesco, so frozen strawberries in there. And then I'm also gonna put in a teaspoon of chia seeds. So that is what's gonna go in. Round a scoop and a half of protein, 200 mils-ish of this almond and oat milk and probably 100 grams each of bananas and strawberries, just kind of judging that by eye and stuff. So all this in the blender. It is literally so yummy and so creamy tasting without obviously having any milk or dairy in it. I think the thing that I'm finding the hardest at the moment is I would always have like a big bowl of Greek yogurt in the mornings. You guys have probably seen that in my previous what I eat in a day videos and vlogs and stuff. So I think that's the biggest thing that I'm kind of switching up is breakfast. Everything else has been pretty easy, but yeah, that's just having a play with a few different breakfast options at the moment. But I'm very excited because I'm gonna sit and enjoy this at our new dining table. We've literally not had a dining table for 11 weeks. It has been a long 11 weeks, but it's been so worth it because we waited to have something custom done from a local, well, they're not actually local, but they are a UK based company and they are, we found them on Etsy and they basically made a custom kind of design and style for us for our table, which we are just so excited about. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a kitchen tour update in a little bit because a few things have changed since I showed you guys around last time. And I know that whenever I pop up little stories and stuff on my Instagram, you guys always ask to see more and to get a bit more of a tour and just a bit of a chat about the home stuff. So that will be coming in a little bit, but for now I'm just gonna sit and enjoy this and then crack on with some work. Okay, I'm in the car and we are on our way to Costco. Well, it's hiding in the background and my mum is here and we're going to get some fish and pick up a few ingredients and bits. I literally love Costco. I feel like they have so many good things. So we're just gonna go and have a hunt around and see what we can find. Okay, so this is what we picked up. We got some fruit and some veggies. So some strawberries, some raspberries, frozen raspberries, lettuce, cucumber, avocados, some oranges, these tomatoes, which literally look amazing. And I cannot wait to pop these in for some lunch. I'm obsessed with tomatoes at the moment. A big bag of frozen strawberries, which will be perfect for smoothies, salmon, tilapia, and some chicken as well. So that is our little Costco haul. This is what is going down for lunch. I've got some turkey bacon, lots of small chopped up tomatoes, and then this is rye sourdough toast with some avocado and chili flakes on there. I'm having it with a kombucha. I literally know that I make this all the time as a lunch combo, but I am just still so into avocado on toast. So it's so quick and easy to do. I often mix up protein sauces. Sometimes I might have turkey bacon. Sometimes I might have some chicken breast. Just depends what there is to use up really. But yeah, turkey bacon, avocado on toast, some tomatoes, chili flakes, quick, simple, gets the job done. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna eat this up quickly and then I'm gonna show you some of the home bits because I wanna head to a shop this afternoon maybe since shops are now open here and have a 
have a look for a few bits for our new shelves but let me eat this first and then we'll do that okay so kitchen update coming your way and i'm just going to chat you through what we've got and what i want to go and have a look for this afternoon so if you hadn't seen on my instagram we basically went through a little bit of a project with our kitchen we didn't have it ripped out or changed we just had it painted it used to be like a really greeny color and we had it all painted white at the beginning of the year and it made the biggest difference to the space. I'll try and pop up some pictures on the screen so you can see the before and afters because honestly, it just made the biggest difference to the room. But we've been waiting for this table for so long to finally kind of complete the space. So let me just show you this famous table. So here is the table. It is a reclaimed oak top and then it has got these black legs as well. It is honestly so gorgeous. The company was called Made in the Cellar and I will link them down below. But honestly, yeah, so, so happy with it. It just looks so nice. The bench we went for this side tucks underneath, so it's really good for space saving because we didn't have that much space between the bar and where the table needs to be. And then this side we went for these wishbone style chairs. They're not actually from the same company, they're just ones I found online. There are loads of different companies that do them, but I just really like the style of them. And also the seat style and stuff, and I just think I really like the contrast of like the bench one side and the chairs the other. So this is what the table looks like. Honestly, I'm just so happy to have a table. This little centerpiece thing I picked up from Neptune a few days ago. And also what I want to show you is the shelves. So we had these shelves made in the same wood and finish and stuff as the dining table so that they all match together. Um, but as you can see, I need to fill them and put some stuff on them. So I've got a few bits that I picked up when I picked that centerpiece up, but I just want to get a few more bits to kind of just dress this area. It did used to be a really big cabinet. So it used to be a really big cabinet which went above there and it honestly just looks so much better and helps let so much more light in from this window. So yeah, that is the plan. So my plan is I'm gonna head to Neptune, have a look and see what they've got. I'm literally just obsessed with them as a home store. I think they've got so much nice stuff. It's definitely pricey, but I feel like if you can pick a mix stuff, you don't necessarily have to get it all from there, but you can blend stuff together really well. So I'm gonna head down there and just have a look around for some ideas really and see what I can find, see if I can find any bits for the shelf, anything else for the table and stuff. And yeah, it's gonna be good. I have got quite a lot of work to do today, but I'm just trying to kind of slot it in around some other good stuff because A, it's Friday, and B, I've just been waiting for these home things for so long, and I'm just too excited to properly just get into decorating it. Just before I go as well, I just thought I would show you actually the rest of the kitchen. So we had these lights changed with these nice glass lights fitted. They were like chrome ones before. This is the color of the kitchen now, so it's all just nice and white, new bar stools, and yeah, honestly, it just looks so different and so much lighter. We also had all of our oak doors painted, so all of these doors, these were just kind of plain oak doors and we had them all painted white as well and it's just made the biggest difference to kind of the light and stuff in the area. But yeah, this is what it is currently looking like. They literally had so much good stuff. I didn't film when I was in there because I just, I never know whether you're actually allowed to and I don't really feel like you are and there were people looking around and stuff. So I didn't film when I was in there but I picked up a few bits which I'm interested to see what they're actually gonna look like on the shelves. It's so difficult to tell. So I'm gonna get the bits in and we'll see what they look like. Literally two bags of stuff and I also got some really cute cups as well loving this greenery and loving these like hessian bags i'm just so here for this so i'm gonna get these in on the shelf and let's see what they look like It is 20 to 6, so it's actually a little bit late, but we're dealing with that. I'm gonna get my session done. So I'm just gonna make myself a drink to be sipping whilst I'm training. I've obviously got my own protein shaker. I've absolutely been loving these EAAs at the moment, essential amino acids. So I'm gonna pop some of those in, and I also always pop a scoop of creatine in there. My code is always down below, as well as my link, you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna pop this in here. 
get this session done. I've got an upper body session to do. And I've also got some rehab to do, which I'm gonna to chat to you guys about because I don't actually think I've given you an update on what's going on. But yeah, that is what is going down. Give her a shake. So upper body session to do and get it done. And like I said, I've also got some rehab to do and I also wanna do some handstand practice. We're making progress with the handstands. If you watched my last vlog, you'll know that I've been trying to learn how to do handstands, which I've never done before. So I'm finding that super tough and I actually find it really hard to do it on upper body day. So I'm not gonna do much, but I am gonna do a little bit of handstand practice and some rehab. I don't think that I have actually chatted about this on my YouTube yet, but I have it over on my Instagram. But I'm seeing a um, physio at the moment for some help with my hip. It's quite complicated what's going on. I think I might just get him to explain it next time because I know that I'm not gonna do it justice. But I basically had a hip injury for like the last 10 years or so. It was an injury that happened. I kind of tore the lining area of my hip on one side. And over the last like seven years or so, it basically healed. But it left me with a lot of issues. Let's put it that way, in terms of just a poor lack of mobility on one side very stiff, very uncomfortable, and then kind of causing a lot of pain in my lower back on the opposite side, where I basically just have no strength in that leg. So I'm trying to kind of balance it out, go back to the drawing board and just strip things back. But what I wanted to say is that I know that sometimes things like that can make you feel like your training gets worse and that it's really rubbish if you've got an injury or you've got rehab or you've got stuff to work around. But honestly, I actually think it's made my training so much better because everyone can just keep plowing on through injuries and stuff, but it is just not good long term. It's not good. You're supposed to be doing this for a healthy, sustainable lifestyle, and you've got to love and respect your body as part of that because your body's all you've got. So I've actually really enjoyed taking that step back and just going, no, I'm gonna do the work, I'm gonna get myself feeling good, and it's gonna be worth it in the long run. So that's just a little pep talk for anyone who is also struggling with any injuries or rehab or physio, etc. at the moment. But yeah, our body session, I'm gonna stop laughing. Let's just get this done. I feel like it would just be rude to start without showing you the outfit first because this Under Armour combo, I've just got so much time for. These are actually last year's biker shorts in this kind of bluey green color, but paired with this new like pale green acre color bra is so cute. I literally live in the Meridian bike shorts. They are so comfy. They are so flattering, literally everywhere. I'm so obsessed with them. So yeah, this is today's little outfit. <laughs> dinner we are going to be making a vegetable rice with some salmon this is literally what we've been doing at the end of every week because it's such a good way to use up loads of veggies that you just want to use and you literally just pop it all in the pan salmon obviously in the oven and it's done in like 25 minutes so lots of veggies to chop up and pop in the pan and i'm going to show you how we're going to make it because it's super super yummy <laughs> Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. Don't let them transform ya. Oh, come and see what you've been missing on a little slice of. Okay, 
all the veggies are in the pan ready and I've just put a tiny drizzle of rapeseed oil on with them as well. So we've got tomatoes, red onions, aubergine, courgette, peppers, and beans, I think. I think that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna start this off first and let that cook for a minute or two and then I'm gonna add the rice. These are the rice packets I'm gonna be using. There's five of us eating this. There's five of us in the house at the moment. So we're gonna do four rice packets. So you can obviously scale it for whatever quantities, but we're gonna be using whole grain and wild rice, chickpeas and quinoa, and also this brown rice blend. That's just another whole grain and wild rice one combo there. Um, so I'm just gonna pop this all in here and mix it all together and then just cook it on a low heat for about 20, 25 minutes or so. Pop the lid on once it's all mixed together. Salmon is here, ready to go in the oven. I've just put salt and pepper and some lemon slices on top. So I'm gonna just pop that in the oven for about 20 minutes. dreadful job of filming this evening we literally made dinner and then got stuck into this really good movie about these guys that were rock climbing and it was just so good that we just kept watching it and it is now like quarter to midnight which is super late for me so i'm gonna get myself tucked up in bed so sorry there wasn't much action this evening but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like and subscribe <laughs> subscribe button if you did because it helps support my channel and tobe's definitely appreciates it too and yeah I think my next video I might try and do a what I eat in a day because I feel like I didn't actually show that much I didn't show my snacks and I didn't give you an update on what's kind of going on with that and how I'm kind of centering my nutrition and stuff at the moment so yeah it would be really good to maybe do that or any other requests for the next video let me know down below you guys and I'll see you in the next one